Hello everybody and welcome to Gears of War 2. We played Gears of War Ultimate Edition a little bit, uh, you know, we played that through, um, I can't remember when last year, but I, I know it was like kind of closer towards the end of the year, and um, you know, Gears of War Ultimate Edition was updated graphically and everything for the Xbox One. Um, unfortunately, Gears 2 and 3 and Judgment have not had that treatment, so we are playing Gears of War 2. This is the Xbox 360, uh, you know, version, because it's the only version that's available. Um, so we're playing the Xbox 360, uh, you know, titles that typically sometimes have problems. Uh, so I guess we're going to see how this game works uh, on here, because I haven't had, I actually haven't played this game uh, on the Xbox um, one, I don't think ever. Um, I have, I, I don't know if I've played Gears of War 2 on the Xbox One ever. I might have, but I can't remember ever doing so, but if I did, it was a long ass time ago. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, get into it. Um, there is the deleted scene thing here. Um, this is a Road to Ruin deleted scene. Um, we are not going to play this. It really doesn't add anything to the, uh, well, you know what? Maybe we will. It, it doesn't really add anything to the story, but we might, tr we, uh, I might show it, um, just the, after that we've completed the game. Um, in terms of the solo campaign, we're going to, uh, we're going to start a new campaign. We're just going to do new, uh, and of course, casual. It began as always, with the desire for power. The need to conquer. The hunger to consume. Inevitably, this led to conflict. Humanity fought an endless battle against itself, until it was forced to unite against a power far greater than it had ever known. But even united, Humanity left only destruction in its wake. Despite their best efforts at survival, the humans of Sierra continued to march blindly to their imminent doom. Unaware that their misguided attempts at retaliation were only leading them ever closer to extinction. They had thought us crippled by their weapons of mass destruction. But to survive is to endure and prosper. And we have most certainly survived. Jacinto now stands as the last bastion of humanity. A final, desperate defense in the face of impossible odds. In a way, I pity them. But humanity, as always, brought this war upon itself. Yeah, there's a the little two thing, the little drip. Yeah, this game looks like shit. <laughs> I mean, the cutscenes, at least. The game itself doesn't look as bad. I know that it's been updated a little bit. I know it's got the Xbox update shit. Um, so it looks a little better, but... Eh... You know. It's still going to look kind of crappy. We are playing on the Series X, by the way. They're getting bolder. Those gears were guarding Pomeroy Depot. Damn, that's just down the road. Exactly. They're moving deeper every day. got reinforcements yeah but for how much longer <sighs> okay i'm heading to the hospital now. Anya looks so different check on that lead thanks anya i good luck all right sergeant phoenix the are you sergeant Carmine. phoenix delta squad <laughs> i'm your new trainee and green is grass by the looks of it time yep. to train the rook Hello, Carmine. 
Yeah, we'll do the training. So, uh, just a little bit, if you, if for those of you unfamiliar with the Gears of War series, uh, this takes place, like, I think, like, six months after the first game. Uh, the light mass bomb that they put off didn't really kill everything. Um, and so the war is still going on, and, uh, they're still fighting the Locust. Yeah. We'll do the training. Me. Go easy on the kid, I'll train okay? him. Private Ben Carmine, Here with Dom, sir. of course. Reporting yeah, Ben Carmine. Sir. Drop the sir shit, kid. We're not that polite out here. Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Delta. Ugh, don't say that word. <laughs> That's a 2021 no word we don't sir. want to talk about. I hear that you're Sergeant. the one who... Sergeant. Yes, sir. Okay, well this... Sergeant Phoenix. Must be good to know you. So gameplay wise, this actually does look a little. A it actually does look better. He's just Marcus to me. Like, man. name's Dom, by the way. Good to meet you. In the you, scope sir. of things, it does actually Dom. look better. You see action in the war too. Rook, we can talk history later. Concentrate on your training now. I don't need you getting religious out there. Uh, pardon? Holy? Oh, right. Full of holes. <laughs> Got it. First things first, Rook. Stay focused on your mission. Best way is to check your TACCOM before the bullets fly. Mine says teach the Rook the golden rule. Oh, uh, I know. Do unto others as you would have... Not out here, kid. Golden rule of the Gears is take cover or die. You know how to get in a cover, Rook? Show me. All right, uh, the Eagle newspaper. Cog forces head underground. This will be the largest mobilization of Cog forces since the Pendulum Wars, Chairman Prescott told the Sovereign's press corps today. Landad is the perfect location for us to launch this historic assault, the site of the valiant Cog defense during the Winter of Sorrow. It's also a strategic location that allows us to take this battle to the heart of the enemy. Delta Squad honored for Timgad heroics. Colonel Victor Hoffman, Sergeant Marcus Phoenix, and Delta One Squad were honored last week for their roles in the light mass bombing at Timgad. Originally hailed as the war's turning point, the bomb's most important uh, effect was the elimination of krill breeding grounds. So yeah, we have, uh, um, what's up? What's up? My friends list, for those of you who saw that, shout out to them. Keep your head down. Uh, I don't... Eyes open. Check your surroundings. Jack! Always keep your cover. head down like that in a firefight. You'll be fine. Okay, people, let's move so, on. Yeah, I guess, uh, Yo, I guess this game actually does look better. You got a brother was a gear? I'm yeah, glad for that. all four of us. Well, three now. You know one of them? I served with Anthony. He's a good soldier. I respect him. Thanks. Just good to know he died a hero's death. Uh, yeah. Uh, well. Right. Hey, Marcus, check this shot. Check what shot? Nice you suck. I'll call that raise you five. Oh, it disappeared now. <laughs> Helps if you aim, Marcus. Doesn't help your odds of winning. You could hit those in your sleep with the rifle. Come on, use your pistol, man. Better reload. Could be some more killer bottles up ahead. All right, cool. Cause yeah, I remember hearing about this game getting updated. Uh, like, I didn't know that it got updated really like that? graphically. Probably they just have actually dog. cleaned this game up no, no, really well. No, no, it was bigger than that. It looked like a, a weird monkey dog thing. Wretch! A weird him. monkey dog thing. Hey, that's it. That's the monkey dog thing I saw. You hit him? <laughs> Don't think so. Looks like he got away. I didn't you even ever fire. seen that before? Oh. Yeah, but they usually travel in packs. All right, stay alert and use cover. The other ones are probably around here somewhere. Yeah, I saw him running around through there. 
nice Although I do think it would be kind of cool if this game... Not an easy maneuver to make in full gear. Nothing here. Maybe they're in the alley. I would love to see this well, game uh, updated for the Series X and stuff. Like, all of the... Uh, the first three, like, I know the first three games got an update, but, I mean, the, the first game got an update, but I would love to see, like, a Series X update where it's, like, 4K60, because these games could run in 4K60 easy. Grab a few of those the first, grenades. uh, four, anyway. I a feeling we're gonna need them. Damn, someone needs to do it. An and I'm talking right. about Judgment as well. Because uh, Judgment, it, Judgment's a prequel, but uh, Judgment's actually not a bad game. A lot of people uh, hate Rich. on it and say it's bad. What'd you um, call that? I actually thing, think it's a monkey dog. <laughs> I got a special bone for it. Awesome! Wait, there's another one. Uh -oh. Watch out! Oh, God. Jesus! I'm back. Thanks, man. Dumb. Damn it, Carmine. Down. Nah, just needs a few stitches. It can wait. Pull that shit again, Rook, and you're gonna get some unexpected chainsaw training. Let's get in there. And if I remember correctly, this game's actually shorter than the first game. Um, doesn't, uh, the, the last, the first game actually is a decent Fire amount. This land. game is actually a little shorter. Kind of one of the reasons we're playing the training stuff. Almost looks peaceful from up here. Almost. Ah, look at that. Look at these things. I can't remember what these things are called. They're can the cannons that they have Whoa. on them. All this damage came from your grenade? Sure as hell didn't come from yours. Nothing up here. Just some rats. <clears throat> Let's head back to the hospital. Hospital. Are we already over here? There is kind of, you know, there is collectibles that are just kind of like floating around. Oh. Another one for the journal. There we go. Ambulance driver's log. Uh, driver Wayne Mitchell, route Tim Gad Jacinto. Patient one, 33 year old male. Symptoms coughing up blood and brown mucus, nausea, minor bleeding from ears. Patient two, 21 year old male. Symptoms, nausea, coughing up blood, and reddish, reddish brown mucus. Patient 3, 36 year old female. Symptoms, unconscious, blood and reddish brown mucus coming from nose and mouth. Patient number 4, 24 year old male. Symptoms, coughing up uh, blood and dark brown mucus, complaining of severe chest pain and trouble breathing. Seems they all have something in common. It's the coughing of blood and the reddish brown mucus. Yeah, we'll look around for the collectibles and stuff since we're doing, like, a new game. Uh, each chapter does have, like, a certain amount, but I, I don't think it actually shows anywhere how much, how many collectibles are every Whoa. chapter. This, I mean, this is the training. That can't be good. Looks like vacation's over, kid. Head back to the convoy drop-off. Stay there till I call you on your TACCOM. But... That's an order, soldier! Dom, let's move. It ain't an order, soldier. Alright. Anya, Tip of the you steer, still here? Desperation. Still here, Marcus. Tell Dom I may have a lead on his life, but it doesn't look... Anya, what'd you find? A lead on a Jane Doe, but it doesn't look like she... I'll fill you in later, Dom. I have to get back to control. All right, Anya. Good luck. Damn it! Kill these goddamn grubs. So yeah, Let's Dom's move. looking for his wife. Um, he's been missing, so... Hey! Ty, good 
to see you. What are we looking at? Locust Street. Follow me. Locust got some serious sex coming in here like this. Doubt it has anything to do with courage. They just don't realize they've been sent on a suicide run. Maybe they're just desperate. What do you mean? Maybe the light mass bomb hit them harder than we thought. Or maybe something else is going down in the hollow. I don't know. Heads up, Delta. Some of these patients have rust lung. Yeah, rust lung. That's where the, uh, the, the reddish brown mucus comes from. Okay, take position along these windows. I took the far side. Okay, Delta, I'm back online. We have confirmed Locust presence in the hospital. I repeat, Locust are in the hospital. Oh boy. Yeah, well now we've got a power outage too. I'm on it. I'll keep you posted. Control out. Hold fire till they're right below us. We want to get as many of them in the courtyard as we can. Most of those supplies are actually fuel tanks, Delta. Part of the ambush. Here they come. Get ready. There we go. Control, where's a power? My grenade Almost was rogue. There, Got it. Door should be open now. Thanks, Control. Delta out. I didn't uh, throw my grenade where I needed it to be. Cases have been popping up all over since the light Well, the emulsion, uh... The emulsion sickness uh, makes sense because of the fact that we uh, we found all that emulsion, and when we uh, we we hit it all with the light mass bomb, kind of kicked that shit up. So it makes sense. There's another one here. There's five. Okay, so there's five. Oh no, maybe that's just collector thing. Uh, doctor's journal. Doctor Nicolette Shannon. Dr. Merriweather mentioned that she'd seen numerous patients exhibiting similar symptoms, even paranoia and aggression, but she appears to be less concerned than the rest of us. I'm starting to wonder whether her close ties to the COG administration could be affecting her judgment about the patient's welfare. Going to follow on this with the director tomorrow. If we aren't taking care of our soldiers, who will? I think rustling is contagious. Everybody in here is sick. They're trying to fall back. Keep hitting them. Keep hitting them. That's the R7. Getting what verifying what I'm saying here. We have locusts in bell. Locusts in bell from the north. This is control. It's more with feeling. Incoming Reavers! 
picked up my reload. Grubs are likely to be in the streets around the hospital now, Delta. Get ready. Jacinto Medical Center file for Jonathan Harper. Uh, he's a sergeant for Echo 9, Cog Army, age 29, height 1.9 meters, weight 91 kilograms. Patient is a 9-year veteran who has recently experienced vertigo, persistent cough, and insomnia. Was stationed at the Timgad area for two months after light mass offensive, then assigned to Jacinto Perimeter Patrol last four months. Symptoms being around one month ago. Physical and diagnostic evaluation showed no chronic illnesses and no signs of bacterial infection. <clears throat> Prescribed a medium strength antihistamine, released patient, and gave clearance for further duty. Expect a full recovery with no side effects. Dr. Vivian Merriweather. Well, if he's not dying, then why are you leaving a note for me to find? Fucker practically landed on top of me. Everything that you're going to find in terms of collectibles is like on the ground. Control here, Delta. Locusts are outside of the hospital, taking position in the streets, requesting assistance. Roger, Control. We're on it. This is Centaur 2-3, establishing position outside the hospital. They're in the cafeteria! Grub went face first in the salad. Try not to get them in the salad. This reaper ain't going anywhere. Oh shit! Again, something else landed on my fucking head. Upstairs! Flank him!
was that? Ah, shit. Power's out again. Jack, open this door. Open a door, Jack. We're opening the other. Multiple contacts! the glow of locust blood in this light. I've got a sick mind, Ty. <laughs> yeah, Ty's a bit of a bit of a weirdo. Is there any ammo or anything down here? This is very nice. This is what I like to see. Let's check the other side as well, actually. That, uh, I've already done all that here, stuff. Rook? Area I was guarding got too hot, Sergeant. These gears rounded me up to fight, sir. So why aren't you out there fighting? We're reloading, sir. I still don't have that trick down. Better learn fast. Let's get out there, Delta. <laughs> Grab some cover. We gotta dig in before we can get down there. Oh, I lost his head. seen the locusts run like this. Running away won't help! I'll just shoot during your asses! You are pissed today. Damn right. I miss my family. I'll kill every one of these bastards. Uh, 
Nice work, Delta. And Rook, Carmine, you did good. Well, thanks, Sergeant Phoenix. Control, this is Delta. Enemy threat eliminated. Over. Copy that, Delta. Everything okay on your end? Yeah, it was close, but I got out in time. What'd you find? I... Tell me, Anya. Don't bullshit me. The Jane Doe I mentioned? She fits the description, but... Well, looks like she was released a few days ago. We don't have any info after that. There's gotta be another lead, or... or something, right? I'm sorry, Dom. That's it. I'm sorry. Damn it! Not again! I've lost her again! God damn it! Copy that, Anya. Delta Sound, out. The sounds he's, he's hitting stuff, but it doesn't sound as powerful as if he was dumb. Trust me, I have just one of those lancers. Like I'll catch up with you in like a sec, a, Marcus. Like right? a replica yeah. one, and they're huge. Those need. things would smash, guys. Especially a full metal one. Like it would make louder noises than that. Gathered up. Humans oh, are no strangers to war. After all, we've been fighting for as long as we can remember. War is all we know. In the past, we fought for emulsion. We fought for country. We fought for freedom. But all that changed after E-Day. For 15 years, we've been fighting for our very survival against fought for pizza rolls. genocidal monsters. But it is a fight. We cannot continue. Humanity faces extinction. Unless we end this war now. So why land down, Sergeant? Why not just drill down here? Jacinto's the one place it can't dig through, and land down's a perfect spot to hit them on their own turf. Heard there's a shitload of grubs there, Sergeant. More like ten shitloads. Twenty shitloads. A hundred shitloads. And they survived. And have returned. Gonna punish my can. They brought with them a force that can sink entire cities. Even Jacinto, our last beacon of hope through all these dark days, is now at risk. Soon we'll have nothing left to defend. They really pushed the whole like Dom trying to find his wife storyline. Oh, title screen! Gears of War 2! What I ask of you of now war is not two. an easy thing, but it is necessary. Yeah, no, get to the survive, big trucks, fuck shit up! If we are to live long enough to see the seasons pass, our children grow and experience a time of peace that we have never known, we must now take this so these like gun things, they basically attach dr these like drill pods, and you step into a drill pod and they fire you under the ground. This is the day we take the battle to the heart of the enemy. This is the day that we correct the course of human history. Fuck yeah, dude! Sergeant Phoenix, 
You ready to hit the road? You know it. Well, let's go chunk some bullets in them grubs. Here they go. Got right, Got ready to get in. Damn. I'm not actually. I'm not actually saying anything. I'm just. Nah, right, is that Ralph? Get him out. Oh yeah, my name is Dizzy. I'm a rig. Dizzy. Dizzy. <laughs> Betty. Now Betty. You a conscript? I ain't got no charge once he took the lifeboat assistance. Family got the grocery, but Daddy got conscripted. Life's a bitch like that. Delta Baird here. Apparently, I'm riding on Maryland. Hey, Baird. <laughs> It's kill time, baby! Woohoo! Good hunting, guys. Let's go, Dream, baby! Control, this is Delta. We're aboard Rig 314, and they're heading out now. Roger that, Delta. You're good to go. All right, settle in, Delta. We've got a long ride to land. Yeah, this, uh, this mission here that we're doing is, uh, we're just gonna be on top of this, this, uh, big old truck. I guess you, I, I call it a truck, but monstrosity? Mobile carrier? They? Oh, sorry for all the yawning, I was, I did some VR earlier, and now my eyes are all watery and tired.
this. I'm just firing and fire. I mean, I know I'm hitting stuff, but not as much as I'd like, I guess. Here comes some more! the woods but we're also ruining the woods by running it all oh. over something big went down here delta Push. control here i'm detecting serious seismic activity beneath you yeah look at all the lava
Roger that. Determining launch coordinates now. Control out. All right, everybody, let's regroup. I love that, I love, one of the things I love about uh, the Gears games is like the turrets. They don't have, they have infinite ammo. Don't let me down here. Bastards that are bombs. thrown us together again, huh, Marcus? Looks that way. Welcome back to Delta, Ty. Sorry about your squad. Everything happens for a reason. What the hell happened to Lola? My rig? Uh, we hit some mines. Tickers, I think. The whole area is infested. Okay, Delta, head to the monument in the center of town. That's going to be your best place to drill. Wilco Control, Delta out. You heard her, Dizzy. We'll walk you there. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna keep it. Uh, we're gonna stop there, and then when we uh, come back next time, uh, we'll explore land down and uh, see what's uh, what with this place. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.